Good evening. The Middle East will never be the same again. For the first time since the U.S. committed itself to the security of Saudi Arabia in the 1940s, an American president has drawn a line in the sand. It is not the United States against Iraq. It is Iraq against the world. In response to the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait, the U.S. deployed military forces in order to halt further aggression by Saddam Hussein's army. This decision culminated in Operation Desert Storm. Before operations could begin, the U.S. Air Force was tasked with a massive undertaking, quickly move all necessary materials and personnel to an isolated location on the other side of the world. C-130 transport planes were taking off early this morning from Fort Bragg, North Carolina. One critical early goal of the operation is to bring massive air power into Saudi Arabia so rapidly that Iraq will lose the chance for a quick, easy win. Pentagon officials say thousands more troops and scores of aircraft are still to come. Rapid global mobility and air refueling capability proved to be a critical part of what became the largest air campaign since World War II. Air Force C-5 and C-141 aircraft ultimately airlifted over 500,000 tons of cargo. The Civil Reserve Air Fleet, made up of select aircraft from commercial U.S. airlines, also contributed by helping to transport hundreds of thousands of personnel. Of those making the journey, many were members of Reserve and National Guard units. These citizen airmen mobilized and integrated into operational forces and were vital to overall mission success. Air refueling tankers were another crucial element to the operation. Over 200 KC-10 and KC-135 air refuelers dramatically increased the time aircraft could stay in the air. Without the tankers, long-range airlift and combat operations would not be possible. Operation Desert Storm was a decisive victory for the U.S.-led coalition. The air campaign and subsequent ground assault overwhelmed the Iraqi army, and fighting ceased within weeks. Mobilized U.S. and coalition forces successfully liberated Kuwait from Iraqi control. The legacy of Operation Desert Storm endures 25 years later. Today, the Air Force is operating with the smallest force in the service's history. New technologies, new ideas, and a drive for continued development influence our evolving U.S. Air Force as it faces new and emerging challenges. Despite these demands, mobility airmen continue to shape today's Air Force and lead the way in mobilization, long-range air capability, and total force integration.